Nice. Man, this thing shoots flat, like really flat. Hi everyone, welcome back to NFA Review Channel. We have another cool product for you guys today, the Zevtech OZ9C or the compact version. So this is gonna be the Glock 19 size version. So you have already seen on my channel, I reviewed the full size about two or three weeks ago. And then I have been using them as host in recent reviews such as the CGS Group Mod 9. And we do have the CGS Group Mod 9 SK coming right after this video. So you'll see this gun again. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it today. We're not gonna spend as long in the studio because we already went into great, great detail on the full size version. We're still gonna cover it from top to bottom. We're just gonna kind of breeze through it, get the specs out of the way because I'd rather spend more time out on the range shooting it with you guys instead of talking here in the studio. So without further ado, let's go ahead and cover it. So what do you get? You get a beautiful um, red case here. So this case is gonna be from SKB. Uh, just like the original full size. Let me turn it around here. Uh, you get a nice Magpul waterproof case. It's going to hold your warranty card and your manual, stuff like that. And then it ships with the uh, OZ9C, a non-threaded barrel. I have a threaded barrel in it already, so I just switched them out there. And then two Magpul 15 round PMAGs. And that is all you get in the case. Nice waterproof case. We'll go ahead and set this aside. <clears throat> so right off the bat, we'll go ahead and cover the spec. So it comes in at a overall length of 7.3 inches, a height of 5.522 inches, and a width of 1.26 inches. Uh, weight coming in empty at uh, 26.25 ounces. Of course, it is nine millimeter. And uh, another spec, the trigger uh, breaks right around four and a half pounds. Now, what do you get here? Remember, from the first review, if you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and throw it in the description below. Uh, but in a nutshell, this is not a Glock. Uh, there's nothing on here from Glock, except maybe uh, this Gen 4 mag release will work in a Glock. This is a gun built from the ground up from Zevtech with three years of R&D. So a lot of research and development went into this. Uh, they took all the parameters from professional shooters, civilian shooters, what they liked and didn't like about the Glock platform and developed their own firearm. So the OZ-9 is not a Glock. This is a Zevtech product. This is their own in-house firearm. Um, what do you get right off the bat? You get the OZ-9 Compact Signature Slide, the OZ-9 Compact Grip, the Version 2 Match Grade Barrel, of course we switched that out with the Threaded Barrel version, uh, the Pro Flat Face Trigger, again breaks at 4.5 pounds, the Pro Magwell, and the Custom Case and the two mags. Now back to the Magwell, I have to say, uh, any of you guys out there that are familiar with the Gen 5 Glock 19, the new one? Um, you know how it kind of has that flare at the bottom? If you have a medium hand, it kind of it feels really good at the bottom. It kind of squeezes your pinky just a little bit and helps gives you that really confident, secure grip when you drive the gun home. This is doing the same thing for me. So if you look, I have a medium frame hands here and my pinky rests right on that shelf on the Pro Magwell and uh, has a really, really good feeling to it. Like this gun is just not going anywhere. Uh, while we are on the grip, this is, again, if you haven't seen the original review, this grip is the actual housing, okay? So you can actually buy this grip on their website, as with all their parts, their barrel, uh, the small parts like the mag release, the mag well, the trigger, um, the slide even. Um, the firearm itself is the chassis, so I'll show some b-roll here, some close up here on the screen. If you look at the picatinny rail section, this is all steel. Yeah, to be exact, it's 4140 alloy steel. And that is machined all the way through the gun and that houses the fire control group, the frame rails, the actual firearm. So that is a serialized part. Everything else is basically an accessory you can buy on their website. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Firearm is unloaded. 
take it apart like a Glock, and we'll go ahead and remove the captive stainless steel recoil uh, rod and spring, the aforementioned threaded barrel, and then you have their slide. We'll show some close up of that in just a second. Let's switch back to the frame. So, <clears throat> as soon as you pick it up in your hand, you can feel the Ford weight. And I mentioned it again, I know I sound like a broken record here. In the first video, uh, that's going to aid in recoil reduction and follow up shots because now you have more weight forward on the firearm underneath the muzzle versus uh, further back in your hand. So, uh, you can actually feel this nice chunk of steel there in the front. And let's go ahead. I lost my Glock takedown tool. I have no idea where it is. So I found this uh, uh, Vortex scope tool. It should work just fine. So to take apart the firearm further and to take out the actual frame of the gun or the chassis, there's just one pin. So let's go ahead and remove that. It should go out from either side of the gun. Works a lot smoother with an actual Glock tool. You just have one multi-directional or unidirectional pin there. Once that's out, the actual firearm, the frame, slides right out of the grip. Go back to the grip here. This is molded, guys. This is not uh, stippled. It's molded this way. You can actually see a close-up here of the mold lines. Nice undercut underneath the trigger guard itself and the high cut underneath the grip. Uh, feels really, really good in your hand. Uh, they will have other colors available on this. I believe they have uh, flat dark earth out already. I know they definitely have it for the full size. All right, so that covers the frame and, or I'm sorry, the grip housing. Now the frame again, remember this whole platform was built in house to improve upon uh, the idea of a Glock. So while the parts do look similar, the trigger bar is actually not a Glock part. That is an in-house part. Sorry, I got like oil all over the place. Uh, we recently shot it and I lubed it up while we were shooting the footage for the um, CGS review and uh, now I'm full of oil here. But anyway, so in-house trigger bar, in-house everything really. Uh, this is all built in-house. There are no Glock parts. Even though some are cross compatible, uh, they are actually manufactured by Zebtech. So show you a close up here on the frame. You see the frame rails here, here are actually 50% larger than Glock and they have these pockets here for debris to fall into so you don't impede the slide uh, function during extended shooting sessions. So if it gets gummed up with unburnt gunpowder, if you're shooting suppressed, uh, that should allow a good area for those granules to fall into. Um, again, close up here of the serial number and the manufacturing location on the other side of the frame. Very stout feeling. I'm looking close here. No machining marks anywhere. I'm kind of rotating it in the light. Uh, if, if there are some, it's very hard to see. Very substantial solid feeling. So this is machined from a billet 4140 alloy steel block. So uh, pretty precise feel here. And it actually feels really good in the hand. It's something that if you're a engineering nerd like myself, and most of you are, you guys got into guns for the same reasons. You like the way they operate the mechanisms operate, uh, this would be uh, enjoyable to geek out over. So once you get it clean, okay, again, this is going to aid in cleaning. Uh, you can just throw it back together in the reverse order. Now remember, you can kind of mix and match now. You can either order this off their website by itself and then build your gun, or you can buy the gun itself already built. I believe the retail price is $16.79 as you see it here with a non-threaded barrel. Um, so, to reinstall it, just slide it in. You'll see a little notch, I'll show you here, on the back of the frame, and that actually slides into a notch here in the top of the, uh, the uh, grip housing to keep it from tilting. You see how it kind of tilts in? Slide the frame down, put your frame pin in, and just snap it back in like any other pin on any other firearm. Again, you can send that thing home both ways. Very substantial feeling. And then I'll show you a close up here of the OZ-9C signature slide. So this one does not have uh, lighting cuts in it like the full size version that I reviewed last time. This is, all, this is a sealed slide. You do have a plate here for an RMR. Uh, nice sights with a ledge built in and a fiber optic front on it. Very clean looking slide. I'll show you some close-ups here. Um, 
looks pretty much Glock on the inside. Again, that's just familiarity. This is built all in-house by Zevtech. A um, little dirty. Again, we shot it. Really fun gun, too. So let's throw the threaded barrel back in because you know what we'll be doing. But again, you get the gist of it. Very, uh, very clean break on the trigger. Very, very crisp. Reset is short. Show that one more time. Audible reset and tactile reset. You can feel it. Uh, very good spring pressure in there as well. So very handsome looking gun. Uh, feels great in the hand and a good addition to the full size version that we already reviewed here on the channel. So believe that's a pretty good rundown on the actual firearm itself. Let's go out and put it through the ringer. We're going to shoot it unsuppressed, suppressed, different ammo weights and see what we can get to do. And of course, have some fun. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, uh, just made it out to the range. We are going to shoot quite a bit of different ammo today. We're going to be starting out with the 115 grain Aguila, and then we have 124, we have 147, 165. I think we have some 158 in there. So uh, let's go ahead and get shooting. 115 grain function test, unsuppressed with a threaded barrel. Man, I felt really good. So one thing I noticed, um, like I mentioned in the studio, the pinky on here really feels good. Uh, under recoil, it does not let the bottom of the grip kind of flip up. This is a really flat shooting gun. Let's go ahead and try some 124 grain. All right, that was 15 out of 15, and uh, I forgot to mention earlier, we are at about 35 feet or so. So, uh, you know, nothing groundbreaking here as far as me, but hey, at least I'm shooting good today. All right, now we moved up from the standard 124s to 124 grain plus P. So this is the, the old defensive ammo from Freedom Munitions, guys. Looks like it's loaded with a Spear Gold Dot 124 grain plus P. So this should feel a little bit more hefty. Oh yeah. Nice fist size group there in the middle. Uh, very controllable, even with the 124 grain plus P. Uh, I'm really curious to see what the next ammo is gonna do, and that's gonna be 158 grain Fiocchi without a suppressor. Let's see if it has enough pressure to cycle the gun. All right, this would be the Fiocchi 158, no suppressor. Let's see what she does. Nice. Man, this thing shoots flat, like really flat. Uh, I think I'm even more impressed with the compact than I am the full size one that I reviewed last time. I think it just fits my hand better and allows me to really clamp down on this frame and not let it go anywhere. Uh, let's go back down, let's go to 147 grain uh, from LAX ammo, see if that will run, and then we'll go up to 165 and see what happens there. Then we'll throw the suppressor on and see what happens next. <laughs> oh man, this gun continues to amaze me. I mean, truly, the fact they can run without any malfunctions so far today on ammo that it really shouldn't run well on is uh, pretty awesome. So. I believe we have the last one is what the 165 there you go give you that mag all right so this is freedom munition 165 really really slow stuff let's see what it does wow okay so we ran recap 115 124 124 plus p 147, 158, and 165 grain ammo, all unsuppressed with 100% function. Let's go ahead and throw a suppressor or two on there and see what it does. All right, my favorite part of the day is here because no more ear protection. So we have the LAX 147 grain full metal jacket. I have two, two mags loaded. We're gonna run the CGS Group Mod 9 full size, and then we're just gonna keep running. I'm gonna take this one off, hence the gloves, and we're gonna try the Kraken 9SK. 
My next video will be on the Mod 9X SK, but I didn't have time to go pick it up, so uh, we're just going to run with the Kraken 9 SK today. All right, let's see what happens when we add some weight and a boosted suppressor to the end, and let's we'll see how it sounds. Oh, let's not shoot that then. <laughs> Okay, getting a little unburnt gunpowder in my face, but that's a that's a normal. Weapons clear. We'll remove this super hot can now. Thanks, Andrew. I'll throw this on there. It's gonna be a little louder for sure. It's more of a more of a nightstand gun. Kind of take the edge off in your house. All right, 115 or. Uh, 147 grain LAX, that feels really cool. Looks good too. We have one malfunction. Might, a, might be a light strike, so I'm gonna try to catch the... Yep, light strike, we, have, we do have a primer hit. Failure to return the battery. Now, what might be happening here is my booster here is kind of dirty on the Kraken 9 SK. I should lube it up with some grease. Yeah, it's just a little, there it goes. Yeah, just a little hanging up a little bit. So, uh, so we did have malfunctions with the SK, the small can. And I'm sure if we went through the gun, I mean, we've been shooting it quite a bit today. If we cleaned it up, cleaned up both systems and lubed it, it should, should function fine. Let's, uh, let's have some fun today. Let's, uh, you down for a bet, Andrew? Let's do it. Let's load up a mag each of whatever ammo we prefer, and then we'll walk out to 200 yards. And the most hits on steel, uh, the loser buys lunch. Let's do it. All right. Well, hold on, let's see, get this zoomed in here. <laughs> close though it's close hold on to your mag here you take that hot gun hot gun hot gun hot, gun. hot potato all right hold on it's doing a weird thing here all right Let's see what you got there slick Oh, is that why you're missing? Yep. <laughs> How many holes are in my truck? I don't know, hopefully none. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even seeing splash. Yeah, me either. Uh-oh. Don't shortchange yourself. No, I'm not. Light strike. 
Yeah, well, it's just a hard primer. God, you're a mess. I know. Whatever's burning out there is really screwed now. <laughs> it's because everything's made for the right there's a Yeah, there's a mobile home park over there, actually. It's probably what it is. Looks looks dark enough. I wish things were made for left-handers. That'd be awesome. Well, all three of you? Yeah. All right. You hit it to win it. I swear to God, if he hits this. All right, guess we're buying our own lunches. Oh, man. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Oh, man. Unless, does the truck count? Uh, no. Oh. No. You'd be owing me, like, 100 lunches. At least someplace fancy like, too like you talking about like four for four <laughs> all right well we can go big and go with the, the five five dollar big boy before. well everyone i hope you enjoyed the video so far we really tried to run the oz9c through its paces today here out on the range uh, from shooting it to 200 yards to check its accuracy which i was actually dancing around that target pretty good i just couldn't really see it that well uh, to running the 115, 124, uh, 147, 158, and 165 grain ammo. Uh, we did have a couple teething issues with the compact suppressor and the, I believe it was the 147 grain ammo or the 165. In any case, we actually shot that again later. I'll show you that footage right now and it ran 100%. So uh, I actually took the slide off, added some oil and oiled the booster assembly on the suppressor and she ran just fine. So just, you know, maintenance goes a long way. So we have an accurate compact gun that can shoot pretty much any ammo out there. And not only does it look good, it feels amazing in the hand. Again, I said this earlier, I much prefer the feel of this in my hand than the full size gun. It has a really natural feel for me anyway. Especially it has this nice little uh, cut underneath the trigger guard for my offhand. And of course, this shelf here with the stippling built in to the frame, it really helps give you an index point to really drive that gun home. Actually, we'll take some slow-mo footage here, throw it up on the screen to show you just how little muzzle rise there is when shooting this gun. So uh, all in all, good gun. Uh, you know, Zevtech does build rifles as well. So uh, I'm gonna reach out to them and see if they want us to review some of their rifles. Uh, for that, aside from function, we'll definitely put their rifles through an accuracy test. So we'll set up a test with actual paper. We'll try to shoot some groups with it with some quality ammo. So. Uh, but we don't know if that's going to happen yet, but I'll reach out and we'll see what they'll say. Uh, a lot of reviews coming up, guys. You don't want to miss it. We have some uh, another video coming from CGS Group on the Mod uh, 9SK. And then we have two new suppressor companies that have reached out that have not been on my channel yet. I won't spoil any surprises. I'll just let you see it when it happens. Until then, click that like and subscribe button. Go check out the event on Facebook for November 9th, and I'll see you next time.